Oh, are we what? talking about client ones or staff ones? Let's let's straighten that out. Oh, let's first talk about um, staff ones and customer ones. Business business Christmas party. So it's it's I think it's officially started for everyone. People are starting to launch into their work Christmas parties now. I've heard it uh, this week. A couple of people going on them. Yep, I reckon last weekend was the first weekend of um, the beginning, beginning and the end. I reckon. So, I, how many times have we had it? Well, not us. I. I reckon there's a lot of careers ended around Christmas parties. So, um, yeah. well, I think, I think, um, you know, which Christmas parties do you go to and which ones do you say, look, no, thanks. You yeah. can't go to all of them. So I think, I think the, um, I think first of all, the first law to Christmas, uh, uh, a business Christmas party is it's got to be fun. Yep. Uh, you've got to, you've got to, uh, you've got to go and uh, feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Take a buddy to your Christmas party if you don't. A wingman. Yeah. Take a wingman. I think I think at Christmas parties, I don't really care if you bring a wingman, but I think it makes a world of difference, eh? Yeah. Especially if it's networking or along the light. No one ever likes it. Because when you think of when most of the time when you go to parties, you're on the weekends, you're with like five, 10, 15 groups of buddies. But the Christmas ones or the work ones, you could be going in solo and no one does that. So um i reckon that's probably a big thing as well so i don't know do you have to uh, do you mean a buddy that that person would know or you just bring a random yeah, random. Random. random random i reckon i reckon if there's a level of discomfort that you're going to the christmas party and you can do a plus one you take a plus one yep because um, i reckon do you reckon the person the person hosting the part i reckon the person hosting would rather you bring a random than you not come at all possibly yeah that's it that's it. And yeah, I think it brings the plus one, then uh, 150 could go to 300. It could really throw it out. But that's normal for a Christmas party. I don't, I don't think you yep. want to lock up, you know, the more the merrier. Um, yep. Another another great thing about Christmas party is you meet people you don't think of, the, you wouldn't think of normally meeting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So normally you go to your buddy's place for a barbecue. It's it's sort of like the natural the same, group. You know, same group. Same group. Same group, same I, conversation, same shit, same. Well, a wedding's a bit like that, and a Christmas party is a bit like that, where you can hook up with randoms um, and you can have a little bit of fun, just learning a little bit about someone else and someone else's work. Or, <laughs> <Lisa> <laughs> and I need supervision. <laughs> Who does? Uh, Lisa. She just said I need supervision. <laughs> yeah, I think some people at work Christmas parties do need supervision, um, yeah. particularly. Um, particularly the younger people. <laughs> well, I'll make the announcement I'm doing. I'll make the announcement I'm doing the next three months sober. So I like to challenge myself and um, this Christmas wow. is pretty fucking boring. So I'll put it this way. Wow. So, so we may have to, we may just peg at the end of every um, show that we do in the morning, whether you had to drink the night before or not. Yeah, and let's not get it this way. I was not a drinker on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like an alcoholic. Oh, just, um, well, I wouldn't say you had a drinking problem. Um, yeah. But I, what, what's so? What's the uh, what? Why are you doing this at, at this uh, time of the year? This is the most boring time of the year to do that. Yeah, I think um, coming out of that, the winter warrior of six months training pretty hard, into probably the loosest time of the year for most people. Um, I think six months of hard work can be undone in six weeks or four weeks or six days. So um, a lot of time when I sort of started a lot of the weight loss, I did it this time last year. And I knew if I could sort of get through this period of the year and going into next year would be going to this year would be a lot easier. So it worked. I had a really successful year for health. So I want to. I don't want to swing it back, and I think this year could be with all the Christmas parties. Like even this week, for example. So I had my brother's wedding. So I finished the training on Friday. I was like, yeah, I don't want to. And you lost twenty-one kilos. Yeah, lost twenty-one yeah, kilos. Lost. Feel great. Can loss. Feel great. And then, like last weekend, had the wedding. This weekend, we got our Novak Christmas party. I've got the Wimp to Warrior fight celebration on Friday. Then there's another birthday on Wednesday. A Christmas party on Wednesday for someone else. So it'd be like. It's already half this week filled with alcohol and it, does, it won't that. Yeah. So I just made the decision this Monday, fuck it, not doing it. And um, it's going to be a busy time of year. So 
I think I'm getting old as well. Hangovers from last longer. So I want to be fresh. Mm. Now, Christmas uh, office Christmas parties or work Christmas parties, do you drink? Uh, well, I won't be, but I normally do. Oh, but no, well, what, what do the average bear do? I reckon if you um, if you can't handle the drink or you know you're a fool, then don't drink. I remember we had one last Christmas party and there was probably a, a, someone in particular, Mark, and I remember sitting back next to you going, he won't be here next Christmas party just because if you can't handle it or you're an idiot, just don't <laughs> drink. So you won't even, and if you don't- Did they make uh, it? Did they make it? Did they make it? Gone the probably within day, gone. 30 days. Yeah, gone within wow. 30 days. So wow. I think so, um, that's, so there, there's a law there that if, if you, if there is a chance that you can make a, a, li- a little, a slight mess of yourself. Yep. If there's a chance at all on a business work Christmas party, don't touch it. Don't touch it. You don't, you'd probably rather just not go just say you've got something else on and you know who you are. And if you don't, then you definitely ask a friend. They'll tell you if you're, if yeah, you're it could idiot. be something. Could be sudden death move. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of a lot of mess, a lot of a lot of damage gets done on the Christmas party. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've seen it. Fuck, you've had what 50 staff, oh. you've had some parties. Like you'd be sitting back and like then the way I look at it as well. <laughs> I'm not saying I've ever held back, but you've got time that you can be. Well, I think on one Christmas party, you, you you split your head open. Oh yeah, I think I'm scared. I think I can see it. Yeah, um, it does um, happen on Christmas. So we've got two Christmas parties um, at Novak. So we've got the um, tenants, landlords, buyers, sellers, um, friends and family of Novak Christmas party, yep. which is th- which is this Thursday night, 6.30. You are invited. You are invited. Come along. Please RSVP. That's the only rule. Aside from that, no rules. Um, so that's this <laughs> Thursday night at 6.30. But we also do the staff Christmas party where we normally go away for three days. We've been doing that for almost twenty years now. Yeah, that's the that's the that's that's also as interesting as any Christmas party. Yeah, I think I think the Novak like the client one. If you're for guests, you can do whatever you want. But for us, um, yeah, no real drinking because it's that's just as much a work thing as going to a presentation of seller property. If anything, it's probably more important, especially in the people business. I'd rather I, you really on a real estate level, or I think any business level, you have a good. You want, always want people to. You don't always want to be talking about work, and I think when you get to that level with clients that they know who you are, that's when your business with them will go the next level, and you can't be you can't be too intoxicated or slurring. So I think for anyone for us, that will be a lot. That will be pretty sober. Um, and it's almost like speed dating. You just got to mingle because I reckon it's going to be a good turnout. I reckon we have a lot of people. Do we have live music, DJ? With a saxophone player, we've got a DJ, uh, a female DJ, as opposed to a yep. male DJ, if that means for anything. Quality. And equality. <laughs> and, um, and we've got lots of lights. Life. And the thing we've got most of is food. There is food. so much food we got burek burek from dy oh is famous, it yeah we got a famous yeah. Serbian delicacy meat cheese all types of burek you could dream of okay what are the do's and don'ts for the christmas party or in general so if you can't um, handle your piss well, don't drink okay well, i think we talked about getting messy heaps but yep. i reckon if it's if it's a business christmas party uh, yep. as going to someone i think um have fun like, yep. uh, you know, try not to network hard. Try not to talk business. Just go with the flow. If someone wants to talk yeah. about their kids, talk about their kids. If someone wants to talk about yep. their holiday, talk about their holiday. If someone's, when someone wants to get depressed with you, get depressed with them. Whatever. Like, it's, um, you know, it's, yeah, I, I think have fun. And that's that's what we said on our screen at work. It says, no business, no business tonight. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I, that's that, that's the screen that's the screen that's going up. I think it's really nice, but you can and just. Like, I don't think, and I think, don't be afraid to introduce clients to clients. Um, it's not like introducing two ex-girlfriends to each other. I I think sometimes people try and keep 
clients separately or don't mingle. But I think the great thing here is, especially in real estate, it's all like everyone's a bit of a community, landlords, tenants, business owners, everyone's going through that sort of same journey. And I don't think we have to always be in the middle. I think I know out of last year, we had a, even though we said, hey, like, or if people want to talk business or property, they can or their experiences. But I think there was some great relationships built client to client. Um, and if we can facilitate that in an event, I think that's a great thing. Andrew Cole says, keep business and private separate simple. Yeah. I know I'm, I'd sort of, I don't mind sort of spying across both because we're humans, you know, you just talk a bit, of, talk a yeah. bit about everything. Um, you know what else? I, uh, I reckon at a Christmas party, if you want to be a ninja, if you want to dominate a Christmas party, it, as in go away as a weapon, mm. um, names. Yeah. If you can, if you can master remembering people's names and introducing people to people by their names, for some reason, yeah. people people love that. Yeah, that's one thing I I think I need to get better at remembering names. Yeah, if you can, if you can, um, yeah. if for, for some reason people, I guess it's obvious, but people love hearing their name. They love hearing their yep. name. Um, Good point, Mark. Not screamed, Michael. Um, <laughs> but Michael. Um, thank you, Michael. Uh, but if you, names do real, like it's a, don't underestimate it, guys. Like if you. If you go to a Christmas party, you remember someone's name from one year to the next, you're a weapon. Yeah. And I think also being introduced at the door and walking out, little things like that. I find, especially if you're going into a party solo, when you walk straight into it and you're like, fuck, where do I go? Or who's who? That first 15, 30 seconds, that can be very inviting or very, very awkward, can really shape it as well. So... I think if you can't, because you are mingling, have someone there to introduce or get someone from the door. Cause I think that first few seconds can be really shit or really good and how it can be handled. Um, you know, uh, this Christmas party, I'm not going to wear a suit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it gets, um, is that because it gets hot? <laughs> No, nah, or I'm you want to be just. I, I just, I just reckon it's like you know, I'm not here to to cut business. you out and, and do business with you. Like I'm here just to say good day, have fun. Yeah. Hey. Why don't you wear a Santa uniform? <laughs> <laughs> that will really uh, show you having fun. That's huge. I'll go with Santa. Yeah. Uh, fancy dresses, Santa. Um, what else do you do and don't do on a Christmas party? Mm. What about speaking to other uh, other colleagues? Well, dancing, I... dancing. Oh no, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you bust out moves on a Christmas party? No, because even if you're good, you're still the wanker, or you just be so. Out. No. So have a shake it a little bit. Don't shake it too much. Don't and. Better even not to shake it. G'day today. How are you going today from Melbourne to join us? We're just talking about do's and don'ts for a Christmas party. A little bit today, less informal um, than gonna normal. Come, today's going to today's gonna come through our Christmas party. <laughs> today, gonna, you're going gonna to be guest of honour. Tom Palace is going to be there. Lee Tom. Woodward's going to be there. Yes. Um, uh, Greg Jemison, best lawyer in town, is going to be there. Best trainer in town, Rosie Sullivan from Australian College of First is going to be there. There's a lot of there's a lot of great personalities going to be there as mm. like it's um, to learn stuff from as well. So if you yeah. can um, have a good chinwag chinwag with those people, it'll be I can guarantee it'll be a good chat. Yeah. So you reckon Tonight, dancing? Yeah, no dancing. If you go no to a business, business party, don't. And you're right. If you're a really good dancer, <laughs> it still doesn't like. You're in, it's not going to work in your favour. Yeah, and if you're a shit dancer, it's still it's, it's even not gonna worse. Work in your favor. Like, I think we can, rem if yeah. If you're an average dancer, it's not going to work in your favor either. So, Sorry, no dancing. No dancing. How boring is no that? No dancing. Yeah. That's sad. And it's, yeah. But therefore, the people hosting it need to realize not to put a dance floor either. <laughs> like, sometimes they encourage it and it's just like, nah. 
So no dance floor, no dancing. Well, I think I think as I think if you're a staff member at a Christmas party, you've got to you got to stay to the end. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, yep, yep. I think if you're a staff member at a work Christmas party, you're going to stay to the end because I reckon the customers... That's because we're going to clean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you pre um, that already? <laughs> that's because I reckon as a customer, you'll be like, where's my where's my rep? Like, where are they yep. gone? And and you're like, they're over there. Oh, okay, I'll go grab him later, have a chat with him. But he's like, I don't know where he is. It's like, oh, they know. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. They and they do want to say goodbye to you as well, which is they want to say goodbye. They want to say hello. Yeah. They want to. They want to have a chat. Yeah. The actual whole reason they're there is is is, ge- is genuinely for you. So I think uh, where Christmas part is, you got You got to be a stayer. Yeah. Stay oh, the end. Work, work oh. Christmas pa- work Christmas parties clustering with your work buddies. No good. Oh Plus yeah, the, yeah, mingle. Yes, yes. You yeah, got, you got it. Like you, you know when you, you know when you see a function and you see like all the all the people that are um, from that one company talking to each other and they're not talking yeah. to anyone else. I think you got to you got to sort of you know have a good chat with yeah. everyone. Oh, here's one as well, Listerine. <laughs> oh wow. Bad breath at a Christmas party. Bad breath, bad breath. So I think yeah. that's uh, one of the most important ones. Listerine and deodorant, you underestimate it, confined areas. It gets hot. You may not be sweating, but it's um, it goes through, especially if you're having yeah. some garlic or onion. Control your odours at your Christmas yeah, party. Yeah, so that's a big one. Because you're talking quite intimate and t- close to people. Um, we, we, we well, also, um, at auctions as well, we've learned that as well. If there's music, you go closer to the person to yeah. talk and they stink. Yeah, so I think that's a big one as well. So no garlic the night before. No garlic or the hours before. So I reckon it's good. Um, what else? Pretty invaluable information here. Makes what about sense. eating at a Christmas party? Well, if I'm not drinking, I'm going to be eating. So, so, but, so you know, a customer is there. Should you go and have dinner before you get there or should you go on an empty tummy? Oh, benefit of the doubt. I think, um, well, I think if it's, if it's, go... I think, I think you've got to read the play a little bit. If it's a, yeah. if it's a, if it's like a, a bank Christmas party, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, eat before you get there, <laughs> yeah. But if it's Europeans, like ours, if it's if it's if there's if there's if it's a wog. Christmas party, yeah. go on an empty tummy. Read yeah, the yeah. You're going to get fed. Like, there's not going to be... Read the play. Yeah. Read the play. Jeff, said, gonna be... Jeff so said no not... farting. Hey? Oh, Jeff said no farting. Definitely for the room's full. Yeah, no farting. I think controlling the, od- controlling the odours is really, really important at a Christmas party. Yeah. People won't forget you if you if you smell in any sort of way at a Christmas party. Yeah. Then so do you you can overeat then? Because you can definitely overdrink. You can drink too much. Do you reckon, oh, once again, yeah. I think it's oh, difficult. Oh, 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 I, I, yeah. I don't think you, know, you can overeat, but you're not allowed to grab more than one, two items off a plate, more than two items yes. off a plate. I think if you yep. grab three things at once, you're a pig. Yeah, that's true. You can keep going back one at a time. Yeah, um, just... just don't, yep. No rush, like it's cool. No just rush. you know, more foods coming. Plenty of food. Re- yep. Relax, take it easy. Um, what about what else? Uh, guys? Anyone else there, Jeff? What do you reckon, Andrew? Tonight, anything you guys think that you do or don't? What have you guys fucked up in the past or done really well or just seen people do? I think we've no shots. No, no shots at a Christmas party. No shots. No, no shots oh. until the very end. I was about to say it's like not not at the beginning because you can get the conservative bunch, um, but the shots can be towards um, the end with the in the star. I don't know. I'm not even thinking about it. No shots for me. No shots. I just reckon no shots at a Christmas party and you're safe. No shot because that it, that can be a dangerous road. Once again, yeah. you may only be one shot away from being that idiot. Some people yeah. can't handle it. Some people. Yeah, even if you're a pro, you know, I, I don't think you want to go there. Yeah, I don't think it has. I think it ha- I don't see men much benefit um, of doing a shot. Get a haircut? Unless it's a haircut. 
Yeah, you're always going to think look. I, I think if you're going to your work Christmas party and your host, um, as in your, your staff, your crew, your hosting mm. for clients, I yep. think the hosts, we have to... Um, the host they have them. The hostess with the mostest has to have a good has to have a haircut and be groomed. Yep. Groomed. Yeah. Groomed. Chest shaved. Um, anything else? <laughs> no, nah, I think that's it. Oh, do you okay. are you allowed to dial in a pizza to a Christmas party? <laughs> well, if it's uh, if it's a if they don't feed you, you gotta get fed. So as a host, you're allowed to? Oh, as a host. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only if it's Domino's DY. <laughs> um, so host is allowed to, but yeah. a guest is not allowed to. Yeah, guests cannot. Host can, but if you're going to do it, you got to over. Uh, if you're going to call in pizza, you got to oversubscribe. Otherwise, you've ordered. Oh, yeah. Like fuck, if you're calling in the food, you got to <laughs> order. Not- if you think you need five. <laughs> You order if if, 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 yeah. if, you've stu- if you've stuffed up for not having enough food, make sure that when you do strike to order the pizzas, you don't under you don't miss the strike again. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You got a, you got, you got a second strike. Do not miss on the second strike. Yeah, well, I think that's a that's the hardest thing about any of the Christmas parties. You got to have too much alcohol. You have to, if yeah. First, I think the first rule is if you think you need 100 beers, you get 200. If you think you need 20 pizzas, you get 40. Over the oversubscribe because there's nothing worse than if you have less and it kills it. So um, I got one. I got stuff. one. Yep. Overdressed for a Christmas party. Mm. Overdressed. Mm. So, well, you're dressing down. I was, I was going to go in the suit, but then it's hot. Who knows? Uh, I think, okay. I think if, I think if you're a host, I think you're sort of okay, up or down. Yeah. If you're the most hostess with the mostest, and you're the most dressed, that's probably yeah. okay. But I yeah. think if you're, a, if you're a guest, again, you've got to read the play. Yeah. If you're a and guest, also the environment. You, you, you don't want to turn up in a ball gown. At a uh, at a um, yep. at a uh, God, oh, uh, and Andrew just, said, males party. nice cologne, females nice perfume, not over the top. That's yeah, smart, yeah, smart. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, you know. Again, it's I guess you want to. It's who you are. Do you know what I mean? If if you can yeah. present well, you know, it's always going to do better for you. Like you just don't know who you're going to meet. Like, you know, you may meet the, the girl of your dreams and you're single and you get married and she's there and you look great, you smell great, whatever. Your Christmas party is important. Christmas party yeah. is important. You know what I mean? And, and you know, clients, it may be deal of the century, um, you know, someone that you're meeting there. Who knows? You just don't know. You want to be, you want to, you want to be, you know, yeah. but again, I reckon the key be there. have fun. Have fun is the key to Christmas party. Now, Thursday night, we've got our have Christmas fun. party. Hey. Okay. Yes. Thursday night, our Christmas party, 6.30. Uh, 6.30, come, 822 come Pitwater Road. Yep, DY. Got RSVP. You can do it on this feed. Uh, you've got to, with with the Chris, you've got to, um, got RSVP. Come for one drink. Come for 10. We don't care. Yep. Just, just be there. Yeah. Uh, have fun. Get drunk if you want. Golden rule of a Christmas. Do shot. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Smoke. Can we smoke? Yeah, we can vape privately. Vape and uh, make sure there's enough toilets at a Christmas party. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Big one. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's, that's Christmas it. party talk. I that's reckon. Christmas party talk. That's it, Michael. You're a legend. Thanks, Mark. You're not too bad yourself. Thank you, Michael. All right, thanks for tuning in, Jeff, Andrew, Tanae, Nell. We'll speak to you all, Lisa, Higgsy. Um, we'll speak to you all later. Cheers, guys. Who's the guy with the orange shirt? Huh? Who's the guy with the orange shirt that just walked behind you? Yeah, I don't know. He's, I think he's on the windows. Oh, window cleaning day. Hey, gosh.